Uh, hey, Dead Grinners. Uh, this is Dead Grin, and welcome to Dead Grin's Customs. This is the um, latest update on my uh, Dragon Stars uh, Janemba. Now, uh, from the last time you guys saw him, a lot has changed. Uh, namely, uh, his size. He's now he's uh, just slightly taller than uh, <laughs> than uh, Gogeta, and used to be just a little smaller. It's because he was use I was using the uh, the Frieza legs, and then I added some the the, the lower legs of a bootleg cell. But um, and as, as much as I liked it, I didn't really like the proportions. You know, like learning from Tapion, like or Tapion, whatever you want to call him. Like the way I ended up finally settling on his proportions for his waist and his belt and everything like that I, I realized how important proportions are you know like sometimes you can get certain shapes right and other times you lose a silhouette like that's another thing a friend of mine named uh, David um, taught me is that as long as you have the uh, silhouette you know like you you get a better idea of where the character is going to go so what I ended up doing is I ended up doing a big modification the same way that I did a big modification for Tapion where I mixed the, the upper body of a Samazu with the lower body of a Vegeta. Those two figures, surprisingly the, the, the upper body and the, the waist, they wouldn't properly connect like they kept loosening up and I had to invent a way for them to finally you know work together well. If I could redo it, I know how to do it now. <laughs> but uh, at the time, you know, it was a struggle to figure that out. Well, the same thing with the, the the Frieza. Like for some reason, in the earlier version of Frieza and this one, compared to the rest of the figures, they are very unique in the way they are not just sculpted, but the way the mechanics of the actual articulation, you know, is and. Um, for this, for the Frieza, the way his waist is, I ended up using the lower body of hit, you know, the, the hit legs. And uh, now the problem with that is that the plus side is it gave him his height, the proper height that I needed. It uh, also made him look slimmer and, you know, more proportioned for some, even though the, the arms and the upper body are of a smaller figure and the lower body is from a hit the hit legs work so well with this silhouette that I'm making you know once you start sculpting everything around it he starts to look more and more like Janemba like not just because I'm using the right shapes but also because of the proportions are there like he's supposed to be actually like I think a, another inch taller than you know than the figure that I'm making but this is as big as I can make him with the Dragon Stars line without completely modifying the legs but anyways what did I ended up doing is that uh, I grabbed a hits waist and with a I heated it up with a, a blow dryer and then with the nail a nail pin I uh, pushed it until I ended up popping off the the, the thing I, I broke it too but I mean I something that um Super glue could fix up really quick. I opened this one up and I took the the part that actually connects the um, the legs to the waist, like the, the little where you pop them in. Now I did the same thing for the Frieza, but the problem was that the Frieza is made completely different. Like the hit had like a little peg that had the two parts like for each leg like in it well this one when you pop this one open it has one a pole and then you have these this is where the legs connect like on these joints right there and this is what's in what was inside the the freezer so even inside they're not the same they're they're not built the same so what I ended up doing is I modded hits uh, legs, uh, the, the parts that connect to the legs, enough to where he it could fit in there, and then I popped the legs on, 
and then I super glued the seams back so now his um, now I can you know use it oh. luckily this uh, head you know it's uh, Fernando from fairy tales customs made a great quality product man that thing doesn't uh, chip or anything anyways back to the figure now so while you can get Go uh, Gogeta and you know do the splits like and all this crap with him you can't really do the same with my Janemba but I kept enough you know I, I, I left enough articulation in it where you can still open up the legs pretty good you know so it, it, it wasn't I didn't lose like a hundred percent of the uh, the articulation of the figure and luckily for me it actually stands a lot better than he used to <laughs> with uh, with these feet I could not get him to stand at all but uh, anyways so that's how I ended up getting the legs I don't if people want to try to make this with the dragon stars it's, it's gonna be a bitch I can tell you that right now like it's really hard to do what I did quick is what I mean like compared to like like Tapion and uh, cooler those two were so simple to make you know his, it was child's play really it basically it was just popping this and that together and that was it and then repainting with this uh, I was a totally different like modification to the point where you know now it, it's really hard to to do it on your own if you don't know what you're doing <laughs> and uh luckily for me it worked out but so anyways so last time you guys saw i had this and then the shoulders and uh this time around i what i ended up doing is uh, i covered all the peg holes everyone keeps telling me that the peg holes are annoying and, and i didn't do it for cooler and i didn't do it for tapion but i i told myself that i was gonna do it for gogeta and for uh janemba so i did it with janemba i uh, added these like like tricep kind of things that that uh, he has and then I also um, yesterday I did the the chest I mean the well, the waist part and then um, I even did all the back uh, I ended up adding these little things right here and then uh, the part where the tail is going to connect I had to uh, do that too like it has a Totally different profile from the side you see it's almost like cell where instead of the tail being here which uh, I ended up covering up and adding middle putt <laughs> to cover that up I uh, I'm gonna do it right there and uh, that's basically the way the Janemba looks so after I did that yesterday I uh, continued with the waist because he has like some little accent on the waist um, and then uh, I did the the legs again just like I did before with uh, you know with the freezer and then um, I covered the top of the boots and then the rest of the pegs and um, also the tail I kind of modified it's still freezes tail I didn't extend it or anything all I did was this part oh, sorry guys this part used to go up like this and then this part you could articulate over here so it looked shorter what all I did is cut it and then instead of leaving it like this I flipped it over and now it looks a lot longer and it actually fits um, I made it to where it's supposed to fit right here but I, I haven't connected it yet it just the hole is very ready you know and I'm gonna do it to the point where I can still keep articulation in the tail I can still move, move it from here and I can still move that it's just uh, since I haven't connected it right now, I'm you know I'm not gonna force it or anything like that. But yeah, luckily you know I'm doing that. So big changes, guys, on the Janemba. Totally changed the formula, you know. But it's okay. The reason I chose Golden Frieza was because um, he has a lot of the same shapes, especially with the. Uh, the way Golden Frieza's waist is, and uh, you know his the way his body connects, all that stuff you know was there. Oh, 
one thing I did obviously was shave off the uh, little purple accent he had right there. I shaved it all down and then I sculpted that. But anyways, um, but yeah, like uh, he has a lot of the same kind of shapes that Janemba has. So I don't really have to do much except add, you know, the sculpting parts on top. And that's easy for me. I, I don't mind doing that part. But yeah, you know, like, uh, I'm pretty happy where it's going. He's looking more and more like Janemba, you know, every time. So I'm pretty happy about that. One thing I am thinking about, though, I don't know, but uh, I'm actually thinking of extending the horns a bit. For Janemba, like making him just a tad longer, like maybe like up to right there. Because when he's born, the silhouette that he makes is very classic, man. And it, it his horns look giant in that little shot before he starts, you know, facing off against Goku, and they look more a little bit more normal like this. But in just that one shot and a couple of other shots, his horns look, you know, a lot taller, and it would add a little bit more height, you know to go against the Gogeta here but yeah man uh, so those are the huge updates that I made guys uh, sorry if you know they don't make sense or if I'm not making sense if you guys have any questions because you guys want to make your own just let me know like uh, hit me up on Instagram you know a lot of you guys have been finding me uh, you know don't um, you know don't be shy about asking me if because if, you know I know that like the reason why I started customizing is because I, I didn't want to pay a lot of money you know like a lot of these customs that I've seen cost up to 150 bucks and up and I understand because now that I'm making the figures I understand the work that goes into it but at the same time you know I also wanted to learn how to do it mostly for myself I keep getting a lot of questions about you know if I, I'm open for commissions and stuff like that and I'm really at this moment I'm not because uh, I know I don't have the quality materials that a lot of people want me to have if I sell you a figure there's gonna be paint rub because uh, the paint that I'm using is pretty cheap it's from Walmart you know it's not model level you know paint so that's the biggest reason why I keep telling people that I'm not open for commissions at this moment. You know, uh, I know the paint has a lot to do with it. The the way I uh, I don't have an airbrush either, like to be able to make the paint look cleaner. You know, like I work with what I got, and I, I like my customs. And I, you know, you guys can critique my customs and everything, but at the end of the day, it, they're mine. You know, and I'm it's for me for my personal collection. So I don't really get disheartened as much when somebody's criticizing my work because I'm like well yeah of course you know like and the fact that I'm an amateur at this is not another reason why I'm not so bummed out when people tell me oh this looks weird or this sucks or that looks derpy or whatever the hell you know I've gotten so many comments from different people you know judging my work and I don't get sad about it because at the end of the day they're my figures but people are hitting me up on Instagram how much for that Tapion especially for Tapion uh, uh, but before that it was for Cooler and now people are asking me about Janemba <laughs> so um, you know I'm making one of a kind figures for now and uh, depending on how they come out I might sell them to you just the problem is we might not agree on the price point because I know how much it costs like just this fucking upper body for Frieza to get this part was 20 bucks and then I had to waste another 20 bucks for the legs of this guy and then I ended up wasting about 10 bucks for the head that Janemba you know and then this sword came from another figure and you know like there, there's so many parts if I would just sell this damn figure for the parts it's easily about $60 and that's just starting now the time that I had to put into making the figure, the the materials that I'm using here at home, you know, like it, it, if I put that in, it's gonna double the price, and a lot of people don't like that. They don't want to pay 120 something for a figure, and I understand. So 
that's another reason if you guys aren't serious about wanting to waste serious money on some of my figures I suggest you don't ask me for <laughs> for a, a you know a custom I'm not being harsh or anything you know like I'm just it it's a waste of my time having to explain all that to somebody you know I, I know there's a couple of my uh, subscribers that do want to get certain figures and um, when it's all said and done when I'm done with the figure then we can talk about it because you know I might like it but you might end up being disappointed too at the end product and you know I don't want you guys to commit from the beginning about oh yeah don't worry I'll buy this figure so when you're done with it and then you see the end product and you're disappointed you know that's another thing too uh, the idea of a figure is always really cool but the end product you know that's where people usually <laughs> kind of get iffy about it you know and then scaling is another thing you know like some of my figures don't scale 100 percent like J janemba is i mean there's no real size like to compare for janemba like that i've noticed no one's had an official um scale i use this one from a guy named corpse devil's corpse and he does great size comparisons based on uh you know watching the the show is you know like you are able to capture a lot of the stuff and he has so many different scales like he always puts goku as a base and then he scales people against him like churlis um janemba dabura uh every freaking villain you can imagine maybe not the newest ones but like everything like that we've seen before in z and you know some super and uh, gt especially I use that guy's scales like to basically judge roughly about where my figures are. My cooler is scales pretty good. Janemba scales all right. It's not accurate. Dabuda scaled really good. You know, so when when it comes down to those kind of nitty gritty things, guys, you know, a lot of people get very anal about that stuff, and you know, that's another thing. I I can't. Uh, I'm not gonna push myself for somebody else's like likings. I'm going to do the figure the way I like doing figures. And if you like it, then we you know, we can talk. But if you don't like it, you know, don't ask me to make another one like the way you like it. I'm just going to make, I'm always going to make figures the way I like them. And the way I think they look or they should look. So, you know, yeah, I know that was a little rant, guys. But, <laughs> you know, I've, I've gotten so many people this last two weeks asking me about you know commissions and uh you know buying stuff and it, it sucks sometimes having to tell people that i don't that I'm not, I'm not open for that and it also sucks you know uh telling them oh well you know some of these are some other people have already asked about them or you know something it, it gets kind of tiring but i'm not telling you guys to stop asking me you know because i mean you never know i might actually say yes <laughs> But, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind, guys, you know, like, customs are a very weird thing, and then, you know, the quality, y y you have to remember, you know, I constantly talk about the stuff that I use in my, that's why I use Dragon Stars, I don't use SH figures, because I'm not rich, you know, <laughs> I'm not able to just spend 60, 70 bucks on a damn figure that I'm gonna break apart anyways, and then redo, and I'm afraid I might not do it the way I want it you know it's not going to come out the same quality as the way I broke it <laughs> so then in the paints are another thing right now I, I can't afford uh, you know great model paints I might in the future I'm saving up for that kind of stuff but with the stuff that I'm working with right now this is the best that I can do and uh, I'm making up recipes for figures that maybe in the future I could re reproduce and make a lot better because every time I make a figure I learned from it and uh, that's why like obviously Janemba's looking a lot better now in my opinion than he was before but that's just me all right guys sorry about that rant at the end but um, next I'm gonna work on Gogeta uh, and Janemba at the same time I'm gonna extend the, the pants somebody wanted me to make poofier pants and then I'm gonna add the sash and you know do a little uh, the shoulder muscles and just blend everything in add colors and stuff and the same with Janemba you know I'm gonna prime him up after I finish the rest of the sculpts and send him oh I'm gonna send him down prime him up 
and then see where I go from there to the actual paints. All right, guys, this video is going too long. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, you know, share this video. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you can keep up with our latest customs. And I'll see you guys on the flip flop. For everyone watching this in the morning, good morning. And for everybody else, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.